Hello all. It has been a while, but I'm still here. Um, I My name is Simone, if you have never been here, and I'm a Swiss living in Canada. And um, I actually just got really busy because my semester started. I teach at a university. And so everything just got quite hectic. But I splurged on a pen and that was absolutely not intentional. But I just couldn't resist the sale and I will show you why. And it's the first one for me of that brand. And I'm quite nervous to figure out if I actually gonna like it or not. For those of you in the know, I did order it from Goulet Pens. So the, here is the sticker that I got with it. I love the little stickers. I got their Tootsie Pop, is that what it's called? Yes. Um, and so that was part of it. And I also, and I won't talk about those in details, but I cannot, you can't order anything and then not go to their ink samples. So the ones that I got um, was a sample set of muted purples. And so we have like Dynamine, Sarah, Diamond Damson, which I don't know, Sarah I know, Robert Oster, Jewel in the Crown, which I have never used, Robert Oster's Sydney Lavender, which I have used, and Urbain Pussière de Lune, which I have already used before. But um, I like those colors, but sometimes not enough to actually justify a full bottle. So that's what I got. And then the other sample set, and something leaked in here, but it's all good. Um, is a Robert Oster Shake and Shimmy, I think they call it. So it's a lot of shimmer inks from Robert Oster. Um, like we have uh, Rose Guild Tint, Tint, which I actually have used before. Um, I will make, I don't know, maybe I'm going to swatch those and show you all, but we'll see. And then there's also some surprises in here, so I won't go into too much details, but that I couldn't resist. I had to get that too. And then this is kind of funny, it's total sidetrack, it's a total side note. This is not very magical, but we went and did a glass blowing workshop. So I actually made this myself and I thought this is perfect. I'm going to just leave this here. Anyways, but what I mostly wanted to tell you is the pen that I got. So this is the pen. That's the case. And you can see it's a sailor. I have never had a sailor. I have been very nervous to, trace, to try sailors just because people talk about the feedback of the nib. But I, wanted, I couldn't resist the sale. It was just sales are like my worst. I mean, that's why they're sales and that's why they're working. And I just couldn't resist. So what I got, let's see. And I did cheat. I had opened this before, but look at this. So what this is, let me take it out of its package. You see it's a medium nib. Let's get this out of the way for a second. So it's the Sailor Pro Gear in Blue Margarita, which is from one of their cocktail series. And I think it's from the 2020 special edition, but I could not. These are my colors. These are my favorite colors. And I just couldn't resist when it went on sale. I really couldn't. So my first impression is that it's very light. I had a sailor pen in my hand before and it is very light, which is not always my preference, but it feels, it feels nice. And I love, love, love the color. If we go before we go in more details with the pen, you can see the other thing in here is um, there are some cartridges, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to put those to the side. And then there is the ink converter. So this is the one I'm going to use and I'm going to open this. And I'm not prepared and I don't have anything to cut this open. So I'll have to improvise and you probably don't want to watch me try to open this. So I'm going to try to have this open. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think. Maybe. Yes. So I will be I will be using the converter. So now we can put this to the side. It's quite a nice little box. Okay. So let's look at this in a little bit more details. It has, I like the little sailor. Look at this. It's like such a cute little sailor logo on top. It's a screw-on, has quite a few 
quite a turn quite a few times and then look at this beauty so this actually has a 21 carat gold nib and it's a medium um and it looks absolutely stunning look at that that's the feed there we go it's absolutely amazing and then as we said it's a cartridge converter so quite many turns to open this put the converter in and then we have our pen it, it's quite many turns to to turn and let's see so it feels light as i already said it feels very very nice though i love it's i mean it's so smooth um you can absolutely post it and it actually feels nice posted it's not because the cap is so light it doesn't actually feel like too heavy so this might actually be one that i would might write with posted even though i usually don't write posted so let's give it a try so what i will do and i did actually already rinse this so it's already rinsed so what i decided and i was debating with this but i wanted to go with a safe ink with one that i know well and one that i know is safe so and i thought one that actually really fits quite well with the color profile here and that's Pilot Iroshizuku Kujaku. Kuyaku? I don't actually know how you say it. I should have looked it up, what it actually even means. So what I'll do is I'm going to fill my converter. And I think I might have mentioned this before. Let me just take my little book here. I like filling... Oh, it's just like... Oh my God. I screwed it. I Look at that. I completely did this wrong. Oh, it's just a pull out. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to fill this with my syringe. I just like using the syringes better than um, filling it up otherwise. There you go. And I don't like overfilling. Hang on. So I now screwed this back. There we go. My goodness me feels like I have looks like I have never done this it's gonna fill it up that's probably enough I'm gonna put the rest back in because this is a fresh syringe and I haven't touched anything else so if that seems to be like a, a safe thing to do let's get some paper towels okay let me actually grab another paper towel just to make sure I did not mess this up here don't like this part it really looks like I have never done this, but I have. <laughs> so let's put this in. Okay. And then what I like doing, especially with filling the cartridge converter with a syringe, I will then just dip the tip in here. Just a bit so we have a little bit. It's going to help it flow. So this is my, it's an old Hobonichi Teco from 2022. And I'm just using this as my tester for various ink and writings. So let's actually give this, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm nervous because I really don't know. Oh, no, there's already a bit, a little bit of ink. I'm always so nervous about staining this. So let's see. Whew. Ah, this makes me nervous because what if I don't like it? <laughs> Let's start. Oh. I don't know if you can hear it. There is a little bit of feedback as advertised. And I can't think of anything else. So I'm going to just write my name as Simone. But it's so smooth. I think it's so smooth. It's super smooth. And at the same time, there is feedback. So you can also tell it's not really kind of coming through yet. So let's see if we can get it going a little bit better. Might gonna dip it one more time just to show you here. It's gonna, sometimes I also prime the feet then, but that's okay, we don't need to do this. So look at that, so we, oh. 
I don't know if you can hear. It's so... Wow. Okay. I might actually know why people love their sailor pens. It's so nice. I never know how this goes. The brown fox jumped over something. So this feels really nice. Let's see how it feels posted. I don't even know how to describe this. All I know is like, you can hear the feedback. But it's, oh, especially those side strokes are so smooth. It's like, it. it's the difference between you know, I don't know if you have a if you have a pelican where it's just buttery smooth. This isn't buttery smooth, but it feels really nice. It feels really nice. Let me see how it works with some faster writing. The weather today, oh my god, is gray and the sun hasn't been out. Sorry, this is so ending. Very much. Definitely feels like it's like it can't keep up. Again, very, very nice. You can see down strokes, side strokes. It's all the same. It's not just a medium nib. You can hear the feedback but it's very, very nice. And now I can see the colors coming through, so the feet starting to be saturated. So there you go. I think, and I'm gonna be very curious to see how that's gonna feel longer term, but my first impression, I really like it. I really like it. It's gonna be one of those where I'm probably not gonna regret having jumped on the bandwagon and splurged on that sale. And the color, I really, really, really like those colors. That's it. That is all I have for you. And I hope um, you enjoyed some of that. So thank you very much for tuning in. And I will hopefully see you again soon when it's a little bit less crazy busy in my world. <laughs>